Hello and welcome back guys. I'm on this, uh, well, working on this Sprinter. It's the uh, 19 plate onwards. They come in 68 plate as well. So 2018 plus, um, even till today, they are the same shape. We're going to see what the Autel machine does. So what we're going to do is pair it up and see what functions it gives us. On the previous models, it did actually give us like, um, so if these were ever involved in a crash, you could actually reset it and get the car running again um however on this newer model on my previous one ms908 s pro uh, i was not able to um reset these it did have it it did say it was doing it but it never worked uh, and on some of them it didn't it, there was no option for it to reset the crash data so however i'm just gonna kind of go through it all and see if it does have it but I, I don't know we'll find out to be fair because this and the previous one has the same software all it is is a bigger screen like i said and um, one or two bits and bobs different so hopefully we'll see if it does have that software and uh, we'll see what other like hot functions um active tests it does uh previous models of these you could go through quite a lot like coding injectors even the new ones you were able to anyway on me previous ms 90 s pro but uh, we'll see what you can code in and program as well. So let's have a look. In terms of connecting to Mercedes, even the old one did take some time, but this one seems to be a little bit quicker, shall I say? And the topology, top ology, <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know how to say it, but yeah, um, seems to not be with every single vehicle. It seems to not work with every single vehicle. The list is like the normal list. Um, a gentleman did query, you know, you're not getting the, the topology on every single one. Yes, I agree, but this function may not be available because of the way the, the software's layout um, works. I'm not, I'm not, not really a fan of this way. I don't know. I'm just not keen on it to be honest. I like it this way, if you ask me. Um, but on the Mercedes. You get the both options, the list and the other one as well. So we'll just see what we get go through. I mean, also remember, it says VGS transmission. So that'll be like automatic transmission. This is manual, as you can see. So there will be no response because there is no module to um, connect to. So everything else should be fine. Let's have a look. Here you've got control unit, hot function and vehicle profile. There is no coding and programming. I think it's just the way vans are. But uh, we'll see. I mean, if you remember BM, it was boom. Whereas Mercedes, it does take its time compared to BM. BM took literally like three or four seconds and it did all the full scan. But um, this one is taking a bit of time. So here we go. The full scan is nearly done. So here we go. Let's start at the top. So battery discharge protection, that's fine. Because the vehicles had them, some LEDs fitted. Uh, so aftermarket LEDs. Brake lamp, these are fine. I'm not bothered about any of these really. Oh wait, okay. Radar sensor, dirt. You do get it up every now and again. I'm trying to think which one it is. It is. That one comes up, the off there one there. Uh, it comes up every now and again when it rains heavily or it, it's just the radar, isn't it? Um... Actuator, flap defroster, mechanical. Mm, not bothered about that. That's the icon. Here. So multimedia. So yeah. So anyways, let's start from the engine, and let's go through it this way. And let's see what we get and what we can't really do so control unit adaptions so if we just go into trouble codes this is the engine section by the way active test let's see what we can do we can do quite a few well a fair few things to be fair control unit so you go into teaching process so this is what would happen if you did get into um there it is reset function crash signal um, obviously the vehicle starts if I did want it to and it says disable the initial so that will probably say yes if it if it did detect a, a you know a fault like as in a, a crash or whatever it were if it did you'd hit continue and um, there you go so 
So this is like injectors, all the other, I'd, yeah, this is it. So here it is. These are all the things you get. Um, I'm not going to do that. That's your DPF, which I'm not going to bother so much about. Um, just, let's see what you get with this. You get them too. We're not bothered about this. I did that last time. I need, not not this one. Uh, not on this vehicle, but on a previous one. And it took some time. So that's what you get really on the engine section. Um, live data. You get quite a fair few and it goes into every single module. I know that. Uh, again, control unit adaption. That was what we were on. So let's come back out. The ABS... So the ABS section, let's see what we get. And I know this does come up. Let me just shut this door. And I know this does come up with them um, brake pad saying it does need um, resetting, even though pads have all been changed. Active test. Let's see what we can get with active test. Yeah, yeah, no, not fussed about any of them really. Let's come back out. Your airbag. Let's have a look. All you get is trouble codes. Um, it is very rare that the airbag control modules on these ever ever go faulty where you have to reset it. The I think this is the same as the PCM we did earlier, so. Just put this here, it's a bit better. Do it there. So, control unit adaption, teaching process, the same as the engine section. This, um, you just get in kind of them, which we aren't really fussed about right now. This is just for you guys to know what it does with like Mercedes van. I mean, you get a lot of options with the Mercedes van compared to other vans out there, but it'll be more or less the same anyway. The fuel pump. It does take a bit of time for it to go into the modules and pick them up, so. Power steering. Now I know on the MS9 OS Pro, even on the older models of the uh, Sprinters, so the one previous to this, you weren't able to code in steering angle sensors for some reason. I just, just couldn't. And I don't know about this. There, it says it there, but when you do it, it comes up with like so many other lights as well, you know. So I don't really touch it because it may not work. And sometimes I'm not gonna lie, it did work one or two times, but sometimes it didn't. So and it wasn't like the module fault; it was the the correct one on the vehicle. But and there was no fault on the on the um, on the dash. And when you ended up hitting the button, and you know you wanted to code it in, let's say it did come up with. Uh, he did come up with some faults like the APS and traction light used to come on and you couldn't turn it off. So let's have a look. So all you're getting is trouble codes. Anti theft. Now another thing, like if you were using this on the on the car itself, so for instance if you were using it on a A class, C class, B class, whatever it is, you can like get in, go into the um, coding section and like decoding the, um, if I remember like the seat belts um, and quite a few other things. Uh, and I have done like S class, I've done a few S classes and E classes where you can, you know the screen here, uh, where it will tell you, do you wanna watch um the you know continue watching the video when you're driving you had like certain speed limits that, like five miles an hour you would like you wouldn't be able to see it so the other person would see it but then you can take the limit off and you can always see it even it doesn't matter what speed you do but i don't recommend it but it was done for a few people before in back in day shall we say Oh, there's not much functions on that. So we're nearly there. So 
So you've got active test, um, speaker, LED components overhead. Yeah, I'm not gonna really go into them. Teaching process. Let's see what we got with this. Pairing up modules. Um, yeah, not gonna play about with that so much, but um, that's what you get in this. I mean, left door and right door. I'd, I'm just going to left door for the sake of this. I think it'll probably be just the windows, but we'll see. So, no, you're not getting anything as if active. Anyway, going back to the top, the cluster. So he said he had two faults. Uh, battery, um, active test, let's see what we can do. Instrument cluster. Oh, you, you kind of play with all that, I'm not bothered really. Let's see, control unit, configuration, manual setting. Let's see if you can actually, maintenance, ah, that's it. So to reset, reset the main. So this is um when I F1 to reset it because it keeps coming up with the you gotta reset the brake system. So now minus sometimes you gotta do it a few times otherwise it's not gonna work. Is it continue? Let's go on to this one. I have realised it doesn't work all the time. So that's for the oil. Continue. So let it reset that. That's how you'd reset the oil. So that's fine, it's all back to normal. Let's click on this and see if there is anything. Mm. There's nothing else other than oil, really. So continue, complete. So that is that. Let's go back and let's go into. Come on. So let's go into trouble codes, erase codes. Read codes, nothing. So that's eliminated, that's fine. Um, these, it's, it's literally impossible because they've got LED head, like not headlights, sorry, all across the body of the vehicle. It's got LED. So yeah, it's literally impossible. Um, if I just go into the SAM, so, uh, SAM section and then I'll tell you what function that has as well. Nothing, doesn't give you no, um, EZS, the ignition, nothing, active brake assist, which we understand is dirty, it's probably the windscreen that's, um, not clean. You get it very, you know, often on these, on these newer vans. It's really sensitive, shall we say. But, um, air conditioning, not really. Yeah, there's nothing really much. I mean, they like, there's only one or two left f to see if we can do active test or hot functions on it. So, on this one, the automatic selection. Nope. Uh, you're not getting any heart functions. And then multimedia. I don't know what you could do with the multimedia, to be honest. I'm just going to see, because he already comes with like Apple CarPlay and quite a few functions. So I'll see. Again, nothing you can do with it. But on the car, on, on the like, I said on the cars, not the vans on Mercedes, you can do quite a fair few stuff with it. Oh, there's no 
nothing on there. Anyways, uh, we'll just erase everything and then I'm gonna go into the hot function and see what we get. That's obviously erased it, but as soon as the lights do come back on, it'll ping on there and tell us on here. Anyways, let's go on to heart function. So these are the things you can do with it. To be fair, it's nothing much. You can't even like, doesn't have the option for coding injectors. Now, if I go back on to, oh, sorry. If I go back onto the PCM, or should we say engine control module, sorry. I can't, can't remember if I saw like um, coding in injectors, which it should be really. I mean, on the older ones, you were able to code in injectors. On the MS 90s Pro, can't really recall, but I did a few videos on that. Um, what you can and what you can't do. So if I just go back onto the list, go into the engine control module, and then. Control unit. Let's go into teaching. Um, injector, yeah. So you can you can change injector. That's fine on that. So yeah, all good. But that's that's the sort of like functions and and you know modules you can go into and what you can and can't do. But that's everything.